The Ottawa Red Blacks are two and a half point home underdogs to the Montreal Alouettes on Saturday afternoon. Well, they'll look to get their revenge after the Alouettes blasted them 47-21 in the only previous meeting between these two teams back in week three. Ottawa is 6-0-1 at home this season, though they'll be without star strong side linebacker Odarius Pickett as he suffered a ruptured Achilles last week. The Alouettes, meanwhile, look like they'll get star safety Marc-Antoine Decois back as he was a full participant in practice on Wednesday after missing last week's game. JC, can the Red Blacks stay undefeated at home? I don't think they can. The Montreal Alouettes have had back-to-back disappointing performances. They didn't rebound against Calgary like we expected them to, but in the Jason Moss era, we haven't seen them go three games without having a strong performance. I think he's going to get this team squared away for this week, and the absence of a Darius Pickett on that Red Blacks defense is going to loom very, very large because I think they are going to need to stop this Montreal offense because the Montreal off or Montreal defense is going to stop them. That's a very good unit. Remains to be seen whether Lual Uguak will be back in the lineup this week after being signed or if he will wait another week to get readjusted. But if Marc Antoine Decois is back, that is a huge boost to them. I think it's going to be the Alouettes who sees full control of first place in the East with a victory here. Despite the loss of Adarius Pickett, which I don't think could be understated, he is a top five, maybe top three, maybe top one defender in the Canadian Football League. I am taking the Ottawa Red Blacks to win this game. And JC, I'm even taking them to cover the spread. I appreciate mm. that this team was disastrous this past week, but Drew Brown has never had two bad games in a row. He bounces back from adversity. I want to trust him to do that against what is arguably the league's best defense in Montreal. I also think that the Alouette's offense has really been quietly anemic for the past month. Cody Fajardo is arguably the front runner for MOP only because there aren't really any other candidates for MOP right now. But for the past month, he has strongly resembled the 2023 regular season version of Cody Fajardo, who is mediocre, not the 2023 playoff version of Cody Fajardo, who is exceptional. He has not done a great job of distributing the football. They are badly missing Tyson Philpot as their top playmaking receiver. They don't have Austin Mack in there. That has been noticeable as well. So for those reasons, I am taking the Ottawa Red Blacks to bounce back big from last week. They haven't strung two bad games together so far this season. Last week was certainly a bad game. This week, they're back at home where they play very well. I'm taking the Red Blacks to win, upset the Alouettes, and cover the spread. 